So it's, I mean, when it comes to country songs, there's there's something in the words. There's a story. There's whether it be sad or whether it's happy, and you kind of draw on your own experiences. So would I be right in saying that? Yep, definitely, definitely. So definitely. how does a country artist so young uh, kind of draw on? You know, where do you find inspiration from? Because that song's about kind of you know falling for someone, anyone in particular, when you're 17, <laughs> or you just made it all up. I mean, well, you can tell songs, me to mind my own business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm usually pretty upfront about like my songs and my songwriting, and yeah. yeah, I do write from personal experience, and more often or not, it's usually about a boy. Yeah, but I also tend to kind of embellish stories sometimes because, contrary to what people might think. I haven't had a million boyfriends and I haven't had a million ex-boyfriends <laughs> but you know maybe I like someone and then I'll write a song about them but then everyone thinks that I'm going out with them <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah but you know that's all part of the fun it's quite it's quite fun letting people guess who it's about <laughs> so which artists out there are, in, are inspiring you currently on the scene at the moment I would say uh, an artist called Ingrid Andres uh, she's, I don't know how long she's really been on the scene. She's been songwriting for so many artists for like years now. But she actually released her debut single last year, I believe. And she just released her debut album this year. And she's such a good songwriter. And I really look up to her and I think she's amazing because she started off in songwriting, which is like me, and now she's kind of putting herself out there and like, actually singing her songs and so i love her at the moment so if you haven't heard of her you should definitely go check her out oh, and how about any of the, the old school kind of country artists i mean i mean garth yeah. brooks maybe or is that kind of even is that too old dolly parton too, are they still got <laughs> something to offer or is it a yeah. new scene now <laughs> i mean i love dolly parton like she she never gets old um <laughs> she does <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know who else at the moment. I, I do listen to a variety of up and coming artists and ones that are more established. So it kind of goes all over the place from people like Ingrid Andress to Carrie Underwood to Casey Musgraves to Dolly Parton and Loretta Lynn. Um, so it's all over the place, really. I've, I've, I've become partial to a bit of first aid kit. Oh, okay. are, they, are, they, are they country or? I think they I don't know. I guess they kind of are. I haven't really listened to them that much, but okay. I have heard people call them country or like okay. country pop, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, less, <laughs> less, less, less of me asking questions and more of uh, uh, you showing us what you can do. What are you going to play for us next? So this song I'm going to play. It's another song I wrote back when I was 17. And um, shall we all guess which boyfriend it was? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, funnily enough, like maybe these past two songs are about the same person okay no cool. know. <laughs> um, he must have a big ego <laughs> what there was that there was the one that who was it was the songwriter who wrote about warren Beatty. uh you're so vain oh uh, uh, carly, carly carly simon simon yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it inflated warren Beatty's ego that much even though it was a, a not a very yeah. flattering song about him he was just <laughs> so flattered that it, it someone had written a song it just <laughs> did nothing but boost his huge ego anyway yeah, so it's about right so <laughs> this this fella from seventh from your from your 17th year his ego must be floating <laughs> i mean I, I hope he doesn't know that these songs are about him to be honest but okay. i wouldn't be surprised if he did <laughs> hey it's not like we're broadcasting to the world eh yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay let's hear it okay this song is called nervous you walk into the room like a rock star Everybody here knows who you are You've got stars in your eyes And I wish on the same stars for you to be mine And that moment when you start to walk over to me Just like a dream You say, how's it going? And my head just keeps on going Open in my mouth but I can't speak Baby, you made me nervous Now I can walk straight Tell me, babe, what did you do to make me feel this way? It's not on purpose But no specific reason Got me when this type of feeling You make my heart hit the ceiling Like a drum Even dumb It must be the butterflies You tear me up I know you can't tell on the surface Baby, you got me nervous 
I told you I was confident, cool, calm, and collected. Well, I bet you wouldn't believe me, because my hands are shaking and the whole room just falls dark. And I can't even tell who you are. It's like jumping from the sky, a scraper, trying to land in a bucket of water. Well, that's how it feels trying to talk to you. Impossible to tell you. The truth, you made me nervous. Now I can walk straight. Tell me, babe, what did you do to make me feel this way? It's not on purpose for no specific reason. Got me with this type of feeling. You make my heart hit the ceiling like a drum. Feeling dumb, it must be the butterflies. You tear me up. And I know you can't tell on the surface. Blonde hair beauty, she just knows what to say As I'm standing there in awe, she pulls you away I say, hey, you gotta say something before you do As you're standing there looking at me, I whisper I love you You make me nervous Now I can walk straight, tell me, babe What did you do to make me feel this way? It's not on purpose for no specific reason. Got me with a stop of feeling. You make my heart hit the ceiling like a drum. Feeling dumb, you must be the butterflies. You tear me up. And I know you can't tell on the surface. Well, maybe, maybe you got me nervous. And I know you can't tell on the surface. But my mind is playing like a circus. next song I'm going to play for you, it's a cover by a band called Coldplay. You might have heard of them before. And this was actually one of the first songs I learned to play on guitar. And this is called Viva La Vida. windows and the sound of drums people couldn't believe what I'd 
So that brings us to, you've got one more song for us, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm curious, going back to the original that you did before the Coldplay number, who the blonde was? Because <laughs> 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 I think the blondes get a bad rap in any story. They're always the baddie. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I did say I embellished stories slightly. <laughs> so there was no blonde? It wasn't a blonde, it was a brunette. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Secrets out, everyone knows now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, it, it's been great to have you with us here at Away Resorts Live. Um, I've got a leaflet next to me, and it's BBC Music Introducing. So the BBC know who you are. They've discovered you. They've put you on there through their BBC Music Introducing uh, um, product. Well, tell us a little bit more about that. What, do, what, what has that done for you? I mean, it's been really great. I've had, I think, almost all of my singles played on BBC music introducing Solent um, and they've just been super supportive and actually that's kind of led to me also being played and interviewed on BBC Radio Wales. Um, so it kind of just opens up a load of different doors and you know if you can go to BBC Wales and say yeah I've been played on this station and this one and it's all BBC then they, they're pretty happy to help you out so it's been really great. Oh, that's fantastic and um so it's your first time with us. Will yeah. you come back? Oh my gosh, I would love to come back. Will you have me back? Well, what about when you've kind of, you know, you've released your first album, it's, you know, it's, you know it, it sells a million, you're in demand all over the world. Will you still come back? I will always come back, you know. Gosh. I'm going to hold you to that. That's fine, yeah. Okay, it. so your final number. Um, okay. What what, uh, what have you got for us? So this is a song uh, that I wrote uh, back when I was 16. Um, and <laughs> this is a song that was about a person who was quite mean to me. And I'm a very non-confrontational person. So instead of actually confronting this girl, I wrote a song about her instead. So this is called Back Up. Person, but you sure ain't good I can still wear white and you really shouldn't but that's just my observation you act like you're all that when you ain't you're a devil the sky's the same well you're just one big complication now I can't wish you were never born cause if you weren't life would be a bore but sometimes that ain't such a bad thing Crying on my bathroom floor Oh, wondering what I'm living for And maybe my heart wouldn't sting But 
as much as you. you know where by me and back up don't come any closer i don't want you on my front door step back up baby can't you see i don't want you nowhere by me and back up before i call the cops hear me out and i see to stop back up i told you to leave back up away from me oh back up don't come any closer i don't want you on my front door step back Nia Nichols, thank you for being on Aware Resorts Live. A song there about someone who's mean to you. Yes. <laughs> well, they do say that the best form of revenge is success. <laughs> and we at Away Resorts wish you all of that. Thank do come much. back and see us again. We'd love to feature you again here on Away Resorts Live. And um, um, and yes, it's been it's been great. It's been great to hear your material for the first time and great to share it with our Away Resorts guests. So thank you very much. Thank See you, you soon. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs>